What's up everyone, Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids and today we're going to be talking about a kit that's a little bit different than some of the other ones we've done. As you can see we've got a small toolkit here and usually I'm talking about kits that are connected to survival situations, you know, outdoor camping, a uh, bag maybe that you want to keep in your car for emergency situations. This one is basically a ready to go, just grab it, throw it on your belt toolkit. And so this would be good to keep at home, maybe you want to put this in a car, so if you had to jump out of your car and work on something, um, you had all the, uh, the tools right there with you. Uh, as you can see there's a lot of tools that are exposed, they're out, that's just kind of how the, uh, the rig is set up. Let me move this to the side and tell you, if you want to do something that was a little bit more closed up and maybe um, you know, all zippered up on different sides. Let me show you this Vanquest Fat Pack. This is one of the five by eight fat packs. And uh, it's made for medical gear, but you can certainly use it for a lot of different things. Zip these two down, and then the whole thing folds open. Lots of different storage space. So maybe you want to run one from, from Vanquest and get a pack like this to build yours. I, um, I put this kit together just because I thought, you know, I just want something I can grab a hold of and rock and roll and not have to be taking things out. It's all pretty much everything's accessible right there. So let's uh, look at the different items in the kit and then, um, yeah, we'll kind of explain. I'll explain what my thinking is behind how I built this. Let me start by actually talking about the, the basically the, the holder, the container. It's made by this company. You can see right here. Let's see behind the zip ties. A -W -A -W -P. And, uh these guys, I think, work exclusively with Lowe's as far as making gear. And they make things to hold hammers and carry different tools on work sites. And the thing I like about this one is that it's got this clip on the back. And so you can just clip this onto a belt and rock and roll. And now you're, you know, you're ready to go. All the gear is right there, right there on you. So let's uh, we'll start on the outside here and then work to the stuff on the outside here and then move inside. You can see I've got a um, Stanley tape measure, six foot tape measure, very small, very compact but that's uh, immediately accessible. Do have a lighter, just always good to have a lighter with you for, for different things. Um, two different types of electrical tape, and then we have some 25 pound uh, test wire, and then we've got a tire gauge. And as I mentioned, you know, if you had to work on a car, your car, somebody else's car, um, now you got a tire gauge right there with you. It does come with this little carabiner built in, and it's got a little clear kind of cover here, and that keeps it, when this is slid up like that, it keeps it from opening when you slide it down now I can open and close open and close the carabiner so that's what we've got on this side here starting on the front we've got some vice grips and some pliers so you know obviously use useful in kind of in an overlap overlapping way but also they do some different functions sharpie always like to have a sharpie with me pen and pencil we've got this little coast light this is the G 25 coast light and I honestly don't even remember where I, where I picked this up but it's not a uh, you know not something you're gonna be using to uh, land airplanes it's not a high power light but a nice light you, have to, you know get it look into something like I said in your car or you drop something that's definitely a, a very basic light to use and it fits nicely in there right here we've got a six in one driver and this is made by Cobalt that's into this part of the uh, it's got it's the Lowe's brand and there's no actual driver here but I put it in this other section just because it fits better so you've got uh, Phillips there and then a flathead those are small and then on this end a larger Phillips and a larger flathead and then you have this end and that end as well that you can both use both use for hex drivers so that slides into this like so so now you have six options for a, uh, for a screwdriver. Continuing on here, you can see we've got some uh, super glue. Always good to have that, just, you know, repair all kinds of things. This one's a little bit snug, but I've got a Leatherman Wingman here. This is a great multi-tool, and you can pick it up at Home Depot for probably like $25, give or take. So not super expensive, but another great you know, quality product from Leatherman. They just make great stuff. So that certainly no, will not disappoint. Instead of doing paracord, I did bank line just because it's also very strong, a little bit more compact. So I got a bunch of, I think I've got about 60 feet of bank line here. Got a very basic level. And I picked this up, I think, at um, Harbor Freight. So it was like, you know, 99 cents or $1.99 or something like that. So very basic. I got a level there. Got some... 150 grit sandpaper, some zip ties, I just double them over and put a zip tie around them to keep them under control. A very uh, simple uh, razor blade, so again I got this at um, 
Harbor Freight for I think 99 cents. But now you have a very simple cutting tool in your kit. That's a very small one. This one's a little bit bigger. So this is a uh, this is Task Force. I think that's the uh, I think it's the home one of the Home Depot brands. So uh, you know your um, I don't have the blade actually in there now. It's stored in the handle. But you know I just didn't want to accidentally pop it out and cut myself. But you slide it out and now your blade's gonna work. This is a um, Stanley makes this. It's a very basic hacksaw, and you could certainly use this. I mean, it's made for, for cutting metal, but you could certainly use it for a variety of different um, cutting options if you had to. So we've got that. Tiny little pry bar. This is from Schrade. I um, have a video of me just beating up on one of their other ones uh, in OD, but this is the all-black version. little paracord included on in case you needed it, but pry bar, nail pull, a bunch of different things you can certainly do with that. I've got that larger screwdriver, and then this is a smaller set from Husky, and the uh, I think the end pops off here. Let me see, yeah. So the end pops off. There's a bunch of different size drivers in there, and then I've got one actually already um, installed at the end. So that's you know if you got to do smaller, more detail kind of work, now you've got an additional screwdriver for that. Let's see what else do we have in here? Just a little plastic bag. I think this is actually from Lowe's, maybe Walmart. But just, you know, if you got to store garbage or stuff, you don't want to drop a bunch of things, keep that in your kit. And then this is kind of an odd one, but I have a friend who was a uh, who was a dentist. They were getting rid of a bunch of unused, um, but still brand new dental tools. And, you know, these are all these scrapers and things that get the junk out of your teeth with. But um, just, it's a cool little item. I've used this for a variety of... Um, not this exact one, but ones like it for a variety of different little tasks when you got to get into a place or scoop something or hook something, scrape something. So, and there it goes. Um, so that's it for that section. You saw this. Flip onto the back here, and I've got uh, I think probably eight, 10, 12 feet of duct tape flattened out and slid in this little back pocket. And then I'll show you a couple other things here. I've got a bunch of band aids. It's not going to save anybody's life, but if you're out working and you cut yourself, cut your hand, now you got something you could actually use to, uh, to deal with that. And then I've got a sterile pad. This is a 4x4 sterile pad. I don't have any um, medical tape, but you could certainly use a duct tape. You could use the other tape if you had to wrap something up. There are a couple other things, a couple other things that I would throw into this uh, kit. I just um, I haven't had the chance to find. I've been looking around, but Home Depot doesn't carry it. Lowe's doesn't carry it. Very small containers. They're about this big. And I think it's actually like a push pen, so when you push it in, so the liquid comes out of WD-40. And um, I asked at Home Depot, the guy said I'd never heard of it, I asked at Lowe's, the guy was like, yeah, I've seen it, but we don't carry it. So it's like a pen size thing of WD-40. A couple other items I'll be adding, uh, tweezers, some nail clippers, and a small mirror as well. And so, you know, these are the items that I have in this kit. Just put it in there, ready to rock and roll in case something comes up. And it's not really, I wouldn't call it like an emergency. Like, oh, I got to go fix something really quick and it's emergency. As much as, well, now I don't have to scrounge around for like a screwdriver and all these different types of things. I can do it uh, pretty easily. You can see that we are limited by size, so I can't have something like a hammer or something really large uh, in here, at least not easily. I could certainly hang a hammer through here if I wanted to. So, you know, if I see I'm going to need a hammer, boom, I could throw that in there. I could throw some nails or screws in here and then go to uh, go to work. But that's my, uh, my ready-to-go tool kit that I've got set up. So we'll wrap up here. A uh, very simple kit, but hopefully it's going to help me get the job done when it comes to a variety of different tasks here around the house and if i decide to put it in my car you know certainly in the car when i'm out and about as well if you've got a kit like this let's hear what you have in your kit what it looks like you know the different items maybe some of the ones that you have similarly some of the ones you have different let's get the discussion started uh, down below in the comments section thanks as always for checking out the videos here on youtube please subscribe to everyday tactical vids on youtube if you haven't done so already like us on facebook follow us on twitter check us out on instagram and tumblr as well take care